We call it the Track Build Civic, and that's because we're at the racetrack now. Yes. We bolted out all those power mods. It's time to go and see how much quicker it really is. It's time to rip some serious tech with all those upgrades. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a great car. Uh, mainly the brakes, that's what I'm excited to see how they work because that was the real shortcoming last time we were out here. Dave's just prepping the car. I'm gonna go out, bed the brakes, feel how, it, uh, how the whole uh, vehicle operates and we're gonna go from there and then we'll let Dave do some hot laps and see if it actually is faster. It is nice to be back in the Track Day Civic out here. And uh, first thing I'll say, holy smokes, does it sound loud. Oh, living that three inch exhaust life. Let's get this car a little warmed up before I go ripping some full VTEC. Oh, the brakes do feel good. Yeah, much more bite, much, much more bite. Holy. I forgot how good this car rotates. Like, watch this. I'll just give it a little woo -ho -ho. <laughs> It's fantastic. Front wheel drive with this much oversteer is never a bad thing to have. There it goes. It really does come alive. Oh, yeah. It feels good. Feels like it rips really good. Yeah, brakes are nice. Brakes are so much better, my goodness. Anyway, I haven't even bedded them in yet. Oh, I can smell them already. Man, I'll tell you, we are not gonna have any issues with the brakes on this car moving forward. It feels fantastic. Oh man. God, this thing pulls out of the corner so well. Oh, feel it. Oh, wow. Yes. Watch this, full throttle. I had a bite out of that corner. Yes, yes, yes. Great balance on this car. I like it a lot. All right. Oh, listen to that drone, man. You gotta get this thing down into like 3,000 RPM. Yeah, so what can I say? Man, everything seems to be working really, really well. Uh, the power is there. The suspension is still good. I mean, the RAAA tires are working phenomenal. I love the grip that they provide. And now I'm able to actually see the temperatures. And as you can see, we got 184, so degrees Fahrenheit, the car's running well. Uh, oil pressure is there and working properly. No complaints about that. Obviously the oil temp, well, it's not gonna read right because we've got it set up in the wrong way. Uh, well, I think it's time for Dave to do a hot lap, guys. I'm trying to remember what I did in this car last time we were out. I think it was like a 124.5, which... Yeah, I think so. That sounds about right to me, too. Yeah, which isn't crazy fast, but we were just kind of having fun shaking the car down on its, like, maiden voyage, so... I hope we go faster than that. I hope so. It looks like the weather may hold off here for another 10 minutes, so... Yeah, we better go rip some tech right yeah. now. Yes. It's nice having all this information here on the AEM gauges. And the car feels or sounds a lot spicier with the three inch exhaust. Let's see how she feels. Man, this gearbox is so nice. Man, the brakes are a lot stronger. Thank you, Stage 4 Motorsports, for those Hawk DTC 70s. They're working nice. Man, the car feels lively. set to almost full stiff and the front's at about a third from soft so trying to create some tail happiness and it seems to be working well what the f the brakes are brakes just weren't doing enough there I don't know what happened 
got some quirks right now. I'm getting uh, the EBS kicking in real early. Not sure what that's about. And you can hear on diesel, it's like burbling. It's like got a weird misfire, but I don't think that's really affecting the performance any because at wide, op at wide open throttle, it feels fine. He doesn't like it when I rip so much tech, everybody. He's looking at the sidewall saying, I'm using too much you were rubber. You flying out there. You almost killed me. That's I'm what the rubber's to... for. I did almost kill you. And it was weird. Uh, the first lap, before the brakes got warm, I could use the pedal pretty aggressively and I wasn't getting ABS locking up. But then on that second lap, which was looking like a 121 on the lap timer, the predictive was showing me a 121. I locked it up real bad coming up into this last corner and I was only at maybe like 40, 50% brake pressure, but the ABS kicked in real bad. It's like, they call it frozen ABS syndrome. So it's like the ABS kicks in and it, the more you use the brakes, the less it seems to do. Yeah, that could be just because the pad's so aggressive, right? It is a super aggressive pad. So Dev was saying, you know, let's pull the ABS fuse, but now it's starting to rain. So I don't, I don't know if we're gonna get another hot lap in or not. I hope we do. Well, we tried pulling the ABS fuse. The rain has let up. It's been kind of like, spitting yeah, off and on. on and off not ideal but but we'll see if i get up so grip out of her go rip a, uh, a hot lap here and yeah we'll see what it does so you want that 121 that's, that's it that's not I'm bad going, going 121 hunting PT. isn't that faster than the uh, stock type r yes the one the stock type r did a 22 22 2 i think it was yeah so huh. we're, we're getting close there yeah, DP. if we get uh, below 22 2 that'd be pretty serious yeah you bet i think we got less than 50 grand in this car <laughs> By a long I know shot. We <laughs> I know we definitely do. It's like half the price yeah. and all of the speed. Exactly. Let's see if we can do it. That's what no ABS will do. Well, I proved the ABS isn't working and it's 22.3. So all in all, I think that is a win-win, people. 22.3, no ABS, the brakes work great until you lock up the tires. Who knew? Anyway, that is definitely a competitive lap time with the new Civic Type R. I've done, I think, three time sessions in the new Civic Type R, and my lap times were like 22.4, 22.3, 22 And that 22.3 I just did right now in this car was not an especially clean lap. Uh, there is definitely a high 21 in this car. I just need to kind of get my shit together a little bit. I'd like to go beat on it some more, but I think Pete wants to actually go and give it some love. Well, yeah, it could rain. It could rain. So I think we're gonna wrap that, this episode here, but there may be another episode coming where we put the Type R up against this. That's right. The new Civic Type R. That's we're right. just uh, waiting to get some special tires for it. We wanna make to, it a fair uh, fight. Yeah, 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 because right now we know it's as fast as a Type R, right? It is, it is. But if we put the same tire or a similar tire on the Type R, then what's gonna happen? Exactly. If you like us ripping tech, let us know in the comments section. Maybe even consider a thumbs up. I know it's a lot to ask, but you know, that click on the thumbs up could pay off. Hello, thumbs up. Yep, yep, we've got it coming. 
Thank you, thank you, Internet. We appreciate the quick response. We'll see you soon at the racetrack. Uh-oh. You gotta do it Ken Block style, give it a kick. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure that works. All right, TP, you ready to go rip some tech? That's it, man. That's what I, uh, I live to do.